det skal gøre. Hej, Ange. Hej, det er Ange. Jeg tænker, det er Ange. Jeg tænker, det er Ange. Hi guys, so welcome. Let's just wait for everybody to join in because I had many messages and uh, so I'm just gonna wait for everybody to join. At least the people I know were in my inbox. Okay, hi Mohammed. Mohammed, I think I read your message and I have texted you back. So if you could send me that agreement, then I'll probably be able to help you. Hi Jay. So guys, yes, let's start with the question and answers. For those of you who are here, who have not attended my live session before, I have tried and answered many queries and that the link is in my instagram page so probably you can go and even see that hi neil so yes i think we can start with some of the question and answers Advocate the Madonna, which is the best option to come to Canada that from student visa or from directly PR. Um, so I would say direct PR is obviously better if you can get through that. But many people, the score is so high that you are just not able to get that. In fact, PNPs are also a myth right now. It's not difficult to get. So I would suggest that if you don't get PR nahi mil rahi hai and you still want to come, then student visa is a good option. Also, if you want to pursue any course, then student visa is definitely a good option. Mm. Yeah, also, um, I think you should look for... Uh, uh, yesterday, a girl called me who was not very happy with the two years course that she's done. So I suggest that people should actually, you know, do a course which seeing the campus placement seeing the job quality after that and all of that research guys you guys are lawyers acha se research karke fir apna course choose karo about your friend who applied for visa ex yes the visa extension is in process and i have asked him he will get back to me and i will tell you guys but uska visa bhi extension mein uh, pending hai and because of the immigration bahut slow hua hai so we're just waiting for his reply so happy to talk hi tanvi Thanks. Um, I'm paralegal. Which one is better for being a lawyer in Canada? For being a lawyer, you just need to be a lawyer. Na LLM, itna useful hoga na paralegal itna useful hoga. There are ways to immigrate first, and then secondly, agar apko LLM karna hai, obviously wo ek natural progress hai. You can go for LLM, but according to me, if you really, really want to practice, then you should work under somebody. Well, provided you have status to work. Hmm. I am. I'm. How are you? I'm good. Baloch. Oh, that that's mom. Mo, the the one who sent me voice notes, right? So yes, you can ask me all your questions. Sir, I am so sorry. I cannot answer a quick question. You know, very tough. Ho jata hai. That's why I do these question and answers. Um. There is an option of online. Bio. Yes. 
Hi Webhav, so Webhav, yes, Archkal, everything is on online and the whole exam has been an online process right now. In fact, I know so many people who have written this online exam, hai, but because of the simple fact that is COVID, otherwise when I had given the bar exams, it was pen and paper. They are really tough exams, they are not easy, but they have strategy and NCA is like, if NCA is 5 on 10, bar exams are 10 on 10. Hmm... Ma'am, does marks in BLL impact them? I think to an extent of giving you the number of subjects, yes, it does matter. Okay, BLL be so supposedly if somebody's got lower than 50, I have seen those people get usually eight subjects. Now there is also a message in my inbox which says that some people have done distance education courses and NCA does not recognize that. So you have to, one thing you have to do is you have to make sure that you keep messaging FLSC body. And once you keep doing that, FLSC will reply to you. Many, it's many messages unko apne time pe kiya tha, you can't even imagine and they had to reply, obviously. So everybody in Canada tries to reply. Okay, sorry, I missed some messages. One second. Hi Priya. Thank you for asking. I am good. I hope you guys are well too. In India, you are in lockdown. What are the job prospects? So Hamza, I have made one vlog on what are the job prospects. But I still suggest that you, you have to choose your field. You have to see if you have any relative who can connect you to somebody. Maybe like a network or something. Because internal references in Canada is 80% of the market. 80% is all about how you can get through the company. And 20% is all about your own skills so up so your internal reference yeah, itna aate. so i am sure that uh, if you guys have good connections then probably you can get through something uh, sometimes you luck also works like i knew nobody um, and i want to know whether we can manage study for solution so what you can do is if you are working in canada I was uh, I was working part time in Canada then so, uh, plus I was doing the bar exam preparation. They are very much doable pro provided that you give them that their due time. Now I can make one vlog. I think I should make one vlog on the strategy of clearing the bar exams of Ontario. However, other provinces may bar exams at least BC ke alawa, SQ province may hai So people also choose Calgary and Alberta people who are immigrating because you have a 10 months ki article hai. and that I think you can get through if you keep uh, you know pursuing some options on the net. Okay. Um sorry, ma'am. I want to know. Okay. For NCA, do we have to go for IELTS again? For NCA, guys, you do not so what you have to do is you have to go on NCA.legal. Many abhi I have opened this page and it's very clearly the new website. This is the new website and it very clearly states whatever they want. They do not want IELTS. NCA ko IELTS ki zarurat nahi hoti hai. Immigration malo ko hoti hai. They want to see your adaptability in Canada. How can you do that? Uh, hi Nishant. Nishant says, hi, does the NCA assessment give two options of taking the exams? Or pursue a course to get yes if yes would it be better to pursue the course no i do not suggest the course it is very expensive no. okay guys just hold on attention 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 please this is arthur fire we're going to be conducting a monthly fire alarm test along with doing a fire drill Oh God, my condo building, they are doing a fire alarm test. So you guys have to ignore that noise. Okay, but I do not suggest that course, Nishant, because that course is one, very expensive. And two, that course, uh, like it, it is not, I do not know how the course is, but it is not necessary because it, it's a waste of money. I have read that after GPLL or selected JD subjects from Canada, they do not take tests from them. I have read that after GPLLM or selected JD and say do not take tests from them. Yes, that's what Nishant also asked. You're right, Baloj, that you do not need to give the NCA exam. But however, the NCA exams, if you dedicatedly study for about two to three months, they are very much doable. So do not worry about going for the credit courses. Credit courses, your, I know Osgodo offers, but 
that is not required at all believe me i did my research and i just felt that it is not required so now uh, divya to answer your question that how does the immigration process work see there are two things there are parallel immigration process works parallelly with your uh, lawyer thing so maybe you want to go to go through the immigration process through express entry through pmp through any other way but for being a lawyer you have to give the nc exams then you have to obviously you know the process you know the drive but what i suggest is that there is one way in ontario which is the law practice program which gives you a student work visa for eight months now many people are not aware about it but guys today do that homework that go to ryerson university and lso's website law society of ontario and read about the law practice program you will have an idea that once you're enrolled in the license once you've cleared your exam once you're enrolled with the licensing society uh, licensing society of ontario so lpp is only for ontario not for other provinces so i suggest you go and read about it they to give do the admission of that that get you a student work visa it is not a very expensive course it is an 8 months course around 5 6000 canadian dollars so i am sure you guys can look into it and the yeah that's a good option and the in between like i did the in between you can also give your bar exams Okay, ma'am. My mom is a lawyer, um, and she has ten years of experience. And how she wanted to move to Canada, so how she could, how she could search her job. Um, again, uh, I am sorry, I do not know your name, T M X Y Z. But again, the problem is that one till the time you are not in Canada without a Canadian experience, it is so difficult. It is so difficult to find a job without. any i know people who are in big shots i it companies in the us but they are not able to immigrate because they they do they are not able to find a job because they do not have a work status any employer you will email to they will ask you what is your status here law is such a profession that they want people who should have local experience so i suggest your mom can do one thing is that first you guys can move as a family if you are a dependent of her you can move as a family and then she can probably pursue a lm force because for people of her age it it gets easier to network in that group can we do llm during lpp but it, uh, that will not be you won't be able to do it because it both lpp is also very demanding course it is not that simple yet it is demanding so i would suggest that either do llm or do lpp for now web of yes you have to i was uh, it it is a 8 months course for 4 months there it is an online training they will give you assignments and all they will make you a virtual law firm there are in session weeks that when you have to go to ryerson university in downtown toronto but there are also a working component to it of 4 months so august to december is your training and from january to april is your um work placement they will try and get you placed somewhere so that you have direct exposure now what the benefit you guys can have is that yes you have real time exposure work placement and all of that now this work placement is not necessarily that it will be paid or unpaid it can be unpaid but if you keep pursuing them that no we won't do it for and free and all of that they might find you something paid but you have to be very uh, very uh, show a lot of perseverance for it I'm so sorry for this. Uh, they are doing the monthly fire alarm testing. Anyway, so uh, the for LPP, yes, you can you 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 would get a visa. However, now the course is right now online, but still you want to make sure that after COVID, it's going to be fine. In the law firm, this uh, in hiring processes, yes, I have seen that law firms give importance to law college marks. but however it is not the deciding factor it is just an add on factor it is not a deciding factor i hope you guys can hear me it will just be about 5 minutes more mm no from the important subjects to clear exam uh it's mr gorav gorav i think your your name is gorav but gorav can you please tell me what exams are you talking about How should one search for job? 
so once you are in canada the job searching process is very easy it has a linkedin you have linkedin you have jobs.ca you have so many profiles in fact i've made a vlog on that you can go and you know check the websites which i mentioned in the description box also from where you can find jobs there is robert half legal there are a lot of lawyer consulting companies also so maybe your mom can even contact those companies you should go see that vlog i've made it. Yes, can you make a video on CPLD, guys? Can you just hold on for a minute? Oh God! Can you make a video on CPLD prep course comparison with that of LPT? Um, CPLD prep course. Obviously, if you are going to the BC side or to the other provinces, then that course is useful. LPT for Ontario. I I am not very well versed with CPLD. Because I never went there, so but what we can do is, uh, I know somebody. I can ask that somebody to do it. Thank God. Nonsense. Can you make a video on BC bar exam process, Priya? Uh, again for BC, I'm going to get hold of somebody who's done it because first hand experience is always better. So we'll find somebody. Yes, we can do that. How tough is the job of a lawyer in Canadian, and how many hours do you give to your job? So, so lawyers, Hamza lawyers process is no very easy. The you know, the working hours also is no very easy. Now for hours, if you ask me right now, for as of as I'm working for my own firm, I do not have any number of hours. I work as much as I can. As I have to work sometimes in the night time, but it really depends. Otherwise, if you are going for a typical job like a job job, then what you have to see is the number of hours they expect out of you. They will even compensate you for that. Work life balance is good, I would say. In comparison to India, it is for sure very good, and. Uh, you have so many benefits you get so many other benefits economy benefits living standard benefits in canada affordability is a big thing so a person who's earning around 100000 will have the same facilities the same kind of environment the same thing to eat the same places to go as for a person who is earning 500000 so the affordability factor in canada is very good Hi J, I'm in last year of law. After giving ten semester, I have to wait for law degree to register. No J, I do not do that mistake. Please get enrolled with the particular law society or with your provincial bar because NCA would want a certificate of good standing. I even suggest that some people should actually try and work for one month over there, and they oh for one year in India or in whatever jurisdiction. But you should have practical experience. Now I'll tell you what happens. Yesterday, when somebody called me and she was so troubled because the moment she finished her law degree, she came to Canada without even getting to enroll with the provincial bar. Now the NCA very clearly says that they want a good standing certificate from your particular law society. So I don't think you should take that chance. You should at least have one year of experience, maybe maybe six months, maybe eight months, but to have a local legal experience. इतना भी बुरा वहाँ का वो नहीं है सिस्टम दैट यू कॉन्ट इवन डू दैट एंड देन कंसिडर ऑफ डूइंग दैट आपको आपका आपका हॉराइजन भी बहुत ज़्यादा ब्रॉड होता है वंस यू वंस यू हैव हैड डॉन एक्सपीरियंस एंड बिलीव यू मी इंडियन लॉयर्स आर स्मार्ट वी गर्ज आर सो स्मार्ट वी कैन आउट स्मार्ट एनी बडी सो यू हैव टू गेट दैट हैड ऑन एक्सपीरियंस फ्रॉम इंडिया इज वेल Uh, yes, Priya, I would. I know somebody like that. In fact, I would do that very soon. Just uh, busy these days. That's why I am uploading no vlog. But yes, I will. Hi, Rashim. First, we have to give NC or bar exam. Yes, see, that's the that's what I was saying. That you have to have exposure to all of this. You have to go and research and read about it. Go see my vlogs. Obviously, first step is NC. NC is the federal exam, and then whatever province you are going to, then that that is the bar exam. I want to record this. Lawyers take money from newly lawyers for providing them articling. Only here, see, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> mm, no, they do not take. I have not, not to my knowledge, but they do not even pay you sometimes, and that is the sad part. So what you, what you should now, but if and now it also varies from lawyer to lawyer. If I keep somebody, I would not want that I keep them for free. There are many lawyers who would not want to keep them for free. Maybe one or two months of voluntary, and then they, you eventually get paid. But you don't have to pay. That that is not how it works. It is only hearsay. 
you see when it comes to google knowledge google knowledge is very dangerous most important subject to focus on nca nca will usually in uh, in maybe india pakistan uk law degrees not uk uk law degrees they give eight subjects but mostly i've seen they give those core five subjects the five subjects being criminal admin foundation professional responsibility and criminal so these are the main five subjects you would have to focus on because these are the most likely subjects you'll get uh i have shortlisted some universities for llm and they being the university of british columbia and yep ubc is very good that's what i've heard university of calgary when it comes to alberta is very good for energy and mineral law and that is a very very promising field in canada because the natural resources here are not yet used to the full potential like we have exploited in our countries nuclear energy is very upcoming here and you know law is related to everything even i am doing maritime law and i just see that how conveniently it is linked to all these energy facts uh, sectors and how these energy there are shortages of energy lawyers and mining lawyers and there is a lot of scope so that is why i say do the if, if even after choosing the university two things you should check is the scope of the llm that you are pursuing and second is the scope of that university's campus placement it is very important also check the professors what kind of professors are going to teach you because the professors need if they are you know legal practitioners then they are solid connections everything is worth it in the end if you can make those connections so yes i think university of bc and alberta is a good option university of toronto however is times new ranking very high but um, calgary very good for the energy sector law mm. hi rashim first you should complete your degree and then you should think of all this i am not running away anywhere after you are completed so you can always get hold of me probably from i i am a socially active person you can get hold of me even after completing your degree i know you want to pursue law but what i do want you to know is that take one step at a time and that would be very helpful for you so if you jump to things right now it might be a problem because you won't be able to do justice to something which is in your hand right now so i suggest do not worry about your future too much just take it as it comes okay montreal is a good option maybe we will talk about once you're done with your degree but do not jump please make a video on immigration and nca oh my god that is such a sensitive topic immigration and nca has no relation except the one i know is law practice program uh, but yes guys i think you should check this out that there is a provision of certificate once you make your express entry profile there is a provision of certificate of qualification now it is a very vague thing that what that certificate of qualification is i am for sure it is not the nc exam degree the nc exam certificate no i think it is the provincial bar after you become a barrister and solicitor then that that certificate might be able to get 50 points in your express entry profile there are things which you know go parallel which are not tested right now like we are testing one application of visa extension for lpp and all of this if it happens then yes i will make a vlog on it weber yes uh, you have to call the rice you have to mail the rice and university ask them about it but what you do have to see is that this online course is only for the 8 months or only for the covid time not usually it is usually you have to be present here because you will have to go to the university at least once in 2 months two for two three days they do take practical sessions they will tell you they will give you a case that is there are theater artists who are your clients and all of that so there's a lot of uh, things associated to the law practice program so please email them and get to know okay hi jindan nc exam the required for every province in canada yes nc is a federal exam when i say federal in canada federal means central oh god being a lawyer in canada what is the starting package in canada anywhere around 60 to 70000 canadian per annum which is good which is good to start with honestly you you won't feel any less mam aapka kitna experience ho gaya practice mein aapki starting salary kitni thi aur aapki annual salary kitni thi hmm 
सो मेरा लॉ में एक्सपीरियंस हो गया फोर फाइव ईयर्स का फोर ईयर्स का फोर प्लस ईयर्स का कैनडा में एक्सपीरियंस हो गया अराउंड टू प्लस का सो स्टार्टिंग सैलरी थी अराउंड सेवेंटी 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 थाउजेंड के डॉलर्स पर एनुअल सैलरी और अब मेरी कोई सैलरी नहीं है अब इट्स मी फॉर माई सेल्फ यू जस्ट होल्ड ऑन फॉर अ मिनट लेट जस्ट वेट फॉर दिस फायर अलार्म टेस्टिंग टू गेट ओवर बिकॉज अदरवाइज इट इज वेरी डिस्ट्रेक्टिंग Yes, Nishan. Foreign trained lawyers, I think, do face some challenges in securing good jobs. But what you do have to keep in mind that if you are a PR, your chances are seventy percent more than a person who is on a temporary work permit. So that is why being a PR is more useful, more beneficial, and more uh, important in Canadian, at least in Canadian society. या जॉब सिक्योरिंग तो हर जगह टफ है सो आई ऑलवेज से दैट डू नॉट वरी अबाउट द कंपटीशन जस्ट वर्क ऑन योर सेल्फ डू वी गेट वीजा फॉर एल 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 पी प्रोग्राम और वी कैन ओनली नो आफ्टर नो यू डू गेट अ स्टूडेंट वर्क वीजा फॉर दैट दैट्स फॉर श्योर बट यू नीड अ स्टूडेंट प्लस अ वर्क वीजा यू जस्ट हैव टू टेल दैम दैट आई नीड अ एस डब्ल्यू वीजा दे यूजली गिव मैम मेन वी अप्लाई फॉर एल एम वन ईयर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन वर्क परमिट विल एल पी पी एक्ट एज ब्रिजिंग द गैप एज एल एल एम इज ओनली फॉर वन ईयर Mm. Oh, I understand what you're asking. You're asking about the post-graduation work permit. So the PGWD is only for people who have done at least from a DLI institute of one year a course, and then you get a one year of work permit. When you do it, the important thing is that when you do a two years of course, you get a three years of work permit. So you have to make sure that the kind of uh, course you are choosing, LPP will not get you post-graduation work permit as for now. but somebody's application is already pending and we can look into that how is vancouver in terms of migration for an indian lawyer mm vancouver is uh, they say less little less opportunities than ontario but still the because of the weather and because of the place where it is it is very beautifully located and the weather is very favorable to our to ourselves and so you would you can look into vancouver as an option however the competition is there but so is in ontario so the competition is everywhere which province has more demand okay web of so i always tell everybody and even in my vlogs i say that when you go when you are pursuing law obviously the population which has the most now the the place which is most populated will have a higher demand and because of the higher demand there is a lot of competition now once you move outskirts so supposingly you go to alberta you go to manitoba or other provinces of canada and not look into ontario your competition decreases and your work opportunities increases because there are less people right so that is what one thing you should can keep in mind and you can think of it when you immigrate mem nc exams are required for every province only ontario it's a federal exam required for everything mm. ha ma 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 my first year student and i rush my no your first year student planning to come to montreal i want to do the mm rush my i cannot suggest what you should do right now i think you i as i told you you should concentrate on your current graduation right now you want to do law doing law from canada is an expensive affair plus the elsats plus a lot of other things and plus they do not recognize your uh, graduation of 3 years because here the undergrad is of 4 years so i i suggest that you can look into a paralegal course from montreal after your graduation and uh, that's what you want to work on i have a vlog on paralegal on my youtube channel go ahead and watch it and maybe you have some clarity on that
हाई राहल यू आर यूजलेस राहल एज यू प्रैक्टिस इन इंडिया ऑल्सो आई मास्किंग डज इंडियन प्रैक्टिस नो आई डू नॉट प्रैक्टिस इन इंडिया एनी मोर एंड आई एम डन विद इंडियन प्रैक्टिस फॉर नाउ इट लीज आई कैन डू राइट नाउ डबल डबल दैट टू विन प्लेसेज आर सो फार सो वॉट अबाउट अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन बी सी एज कम्पेयर टू ट्रॉन्टो या ना थोड़ा ही सेट द बी सी अपॉर्चुनिटीज बिकॉज ऑफ द कॉम्पिटिशन बिकॉज ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन एंड एवरीथिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द वेदर द अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर नॉट मच लेफ्ट बट यू नो एज इमिग्रेशन इंक्रीज सो डज द अपॉर्चुनिटी इंक्रीज सो यू कैन ऑलवेज लुक इन टू दैट ऑप्शन प्रोवाइडेड वेर यू शूड हैव योर कम्फर्ट जोन फर्स्ट आई थिंक इफ यू डू नॉट हैव इन एनी वेयर देन यू कैन गो एनी वेयर बट इफ यू हैव सम रेलेटिव और एनी वेयर देन यू शुड गो देर I'm just kidding. Government gives salary to their lawyers. No, government does not give anything. Do ITL get jobs in big corporate firm easily? There is nothing called easily. There is always a challenge. Hi, Trijod. There is always a challenge, but what you can look into is that uh, you can have some corporate experience, and corporate experience is always transferable. So for litigation, it is not very much transferable, but for corporate experience yes it is transferable mm, i want to know that as lpp mm, there, okay i want to know as lpp articling may not be paid sometimes yes what is the duration of there be 8 months hours wise 40 hours per week and how does one support livelihood for people do part time jobs and people even keep that much buffer but yes you can do part time jobs yes you can get part time jobs that's not a problem However, the problem is that you can only work twenty hours since you are on the student visa. Mm. Thanks, Trijod. Uh, does law firm hire LPP pursuing students from part time? Law firm. So, when it comes to law firm, it really depends that what what your status is in Canada. Secondly, is that. it is about uh, it is about how much you push yourself if you really really want to get a job you might get a job you just have to be little lucky as a part time as well but as part time you can only work as a law clerk as a law assistant legal assistant so you can look into that options for sure the lpp will not stop you from doing that will i get to get um, will i get spare time to explore opportunities to sustain um explore opportunities to sustain and secure a job for what i didn't understand your question uh, niral how is the job market after llm in canada the job market is the same for lawyers it does not give you a extra hike however if you are going into academics then yes it is the stepping stone for that hmm if i clear and see uh, ma'am what is the minimum salary of new corner overseas lawyer there is no such call there is no such thing called minimum salary however a reasonable of 50 60000 annually should be there it can be less uh, i have seen lawyers even getting 45 to 50000 starting but it really depends on your back home experience on your canadian experience on so many other factors so you just have to first mentally come and settle and then look for all these opportunities and you know eventually the graph will go up it does not go down so you can think of it like the struggle you are doing outside you can do inside thanks trijot i no can you please help for internship if possible for an internship um, how can i help you please let me know will i get spare time to explore opportunities while doing unpaid lpp Yep, you will. You will. LPP gives you a lot of time. It's online for four months. That that is, that that gives you time good enough for you to find or explore some opportunities. Highest demand for lawyers in Canada, Ontario. Will my internship experience be counted? No, internships are not counted. Um, I replied to you, Baloch, Mister Baloch. I replied to you. Okay, so ma'am, I'm doing my graduation first. I'm planning to come to Montreal. Ah, uh, Rashmi, I suggested that you should do paralegal. Um, ma'am, any link or what should you should take internship? Guys, it oh, sorry, the messages are going down, and I am. Ma'am, any link or what should we do to take internship or training? 
uh, there is no such link however there are law firms and they, they have a career options they might keep uh, may might keep you on a, as an intern if you have some kind of international experiences you can show or maybe you have something which is extracurricular your videos are very helpful thank you rahul i'm currently working is the quality better now mm. um training under me i do not think i am competent enough to trade anybody right now i have heard that foreign lawyers have to struggle for at least 3 to 4 years in order to get um so you hear a lot of things but the only thing is that you have to make sure that it is all it's all about your hard work hamza i wouldn't say that you really struggle 3 to 4 years you can do fine as long as you you know you you have a single focus you can even get there earlier but there is there is no end of even getting a good salary there is good salary in terms of you might have a different perception i might have a different perception so you have to see as a lawyer to be successful there are some certain parameters that you have to achieve achieve yes yeah, that's right you got me right what about study gap is it relevant to lpp no LPP wouldn't see your study gap as long as you are the NCA with the licensing society of Ontario. Uh oh. Okay. I'm with someone of fourth year studying government of Canada. Can you recommend the person for giving NC? Yes, I suggest that you should give the NCA exams rather than going for that credit course, which is which what you're doing in your pocket. I mean, it was just that I was planning to do CLAT in India. Well, no, I come. So if you do CLAT in India, then you are going to become a lawyer in India, which is very good. CLAT is very difficult to crack. In fact, Rahil here was giving CLAT about, so I think you should ask him. He is uh, going to the entrance exam, so we're coming to Canada. As most LPP is unpaid. One second, guys. Sorry. I guess I will save the live video. Um, how to sustain privilege? you can do part time guys you there is no such thing as sustainability you have to have to get through that struggle phase for sure ma'am is that 100% true if you study common law from canadian then you don't need to yes that's true thank you thank you will uh, i did llm this year from india and planning to give nca this october okay that's nice Need your guidance? As some are saying, go to Canada on study visa, and some are suggesting to do go get me. So Nikita, yes, that's a very good question. Now, when you are coming to Canada as a PR, your fees remains one third, which is a very important factor. I think you can look into after pursuing your LLM. So, and uh, one other thing I suggest is that okay, if you get through your PR because the express entry score right now is currently very high. but if you do not then student visa is also one of the easiest way and if it does not drain your financial pocket then i am sure that you can look into llm for me the first option if had i been in your place would be to get through the pr but if i can't get through the pr then yes i can for sure pursue the llm llm as i told somebody above that llm uh, in university of calgary and university of toronto and university of british columbia is very promising so you can look into that mam is one to one conversation current if i do one to one conversations you can't imagine how much time will i get but if you have if you want to join me now you can yes send me an invite and i'll probably add you here because i still have time uh please save your life yes i would do that trashim what would you prefer to advise becoming a solicitor so guys it is not it is not like in england you have to be both you have to give the barrister and solicitor exam both in ontario to become a lawyer here and when you are a lawyer here they will call you a barrister and solicitor the degree you will get is for both so it is not there is no difference as such however solicitor in english law used to mean that a solicitor is something who would do the business work who do the corporate sector and somebody who is going to the court is called a barrister but in, in canada it's not true however they were also under the british so that's why the barrister and solicitor the naming of the time kitna 
yeah that is a very personal question ma'am please suggest me that bl be honors as a dual degree well that bl be honors considered as dual degree no nope. that's not considered as a dual degree and i have to take paralegal courses or preparing for the nc exam from india i do not understand your question it is a mix of lot of things if you are want to pursue your paralegal question sumit then you should go ahead with that and come on student visa if you are not then if you are applying for pr then yes you should go through express entry and pnps and if you are preparing for the nc exams yes you can do that in india Do you have a corporate experience as in-house counsel or corporate law firm? So both. It can be both. It is not uh, necessarily one. So you see how parallel, how overlapping these two terms can be. As an in-house counsel, okay, you can work for the law firm in the corporate sector, and for a corporate law firm, yes, you are working for corporate contracts and all of that. It is considered masters while evaluating. No, it is not considered masters from best from I Q A S. I think it is. so you get the same points and masters so you might want to look into that yes to the there's a lot of decent work like balance in term not only for lawyers as compared to every other profession and especially as compared to india believe you me mm. i worked for 3 years in india at a law firm will this result in an exemption from internship no that is not an intention from any article in. thanks for all the answer you are amazing thank you hamza Thank you so much, and uh, hi Shubham, you're doing a brilliant work by guiding us all over. Just wanted to thank you. That's so kind of you. I know how difficult it gets when you and you need some right guidance. So this is even if this twenty or forty or how many people ever join, I just try and convey the same message again and again. But now I suggest that you guys also should do your research. It really helps when you're doing your own research. नहीं एद अच्छा वक्त इज ऑलवेज देर यू कैन ऑलवेज कम इन हेयर बिलोज मैम इफ आई डू एल एल एम इन यूर डू आई हैव जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी यू सी एल एल एम वन ईयर एल एल एम विल गेट यूर वर्क वन ईयर वर्क परमिट नाउ इट डिपेंड्स ऑन यू दैट हाउ यू आर डूइंग योर इन वॉट फील्ड यू आर डूइंग योर एल एल एम एंड वॉट आर द कॉन्टैक्ट यू मेकिंग हाउ मच यूर नेटवर्किंग आई हैव सीन पीपल हु डू एल एल एम आर एंड आर वर्किंग इन अ लॉ फॉर्म एज अ लॉ क्लर्क और लीगल असिस्टेंट बट for practicing law you do need the ncs and you do need the bar certificate to be you need to be qualified as a barrister solicitor uh arslan ma'am if you come to canada after clearing nc exam and somehow fail to find any job then what are the other options available other options available are obviously nobody will fail like that you won't fail to find a job any kind of job you can do any kind of job for now and then if you are determined then everything there is a way for everything but however if you lose hope and if you give up then there is no other recourse you just don't have to give up guys I'm very thankful for your effort your channel thank you ma'am refuse status ka kya kacha hai Hi deep deep that is uh, something we should discuss in private maybe you can say I I will send you my email you can mail me that and that is an official question maybe we can look into it I as per law society I can't advise you like this uh, is there any kind of unemployment for lawyers in Ontario I haven't seen any lawyer who's unemployed can we do two year paralegal course after LBP and license from bar for three year work permit in to your parallel yes you can you can yes you can i have come directly after completing an nc but not any indian experience is not zero i would say but it has less weightage when it comes to canadian job market and what is the living cost for us okay so the living cost you can imagine is can be if you are you know in ontario i can tell you yes it can be somewhere around 2 to 3000 canadian however if you are you know sharing the room and all of that and you can compromise on your living for some time then can be around 1000 5 to 700 for your room rent then eating and all food and all can be around uh, i would say 2500 is a good thing to keep in mind 
Canadian dollars. Hi Preeti. So guys, I think it is time for me to go. I will save this live video for you guys. And uh, one second, I will just check. Yep, I have to go. Hi Deep, uh, I will talk to you. Please, uh, I will send you an email. And that is how you can get through me for a professional. In this session, I'm only doing mentoring session for the fellow lawyers here becoming or to be. If the salary is uh, 10,000, how much is in tax? 50, you come in the highest bracket. Tax is a very pinching point for people. But however, what happens is how you can save taxes. People usually work on contracts here. No, that pretty that won't be a problem. Nobody is ever current people are all over painted when it comes to Canada. They they have so many tattoos. No, there is no medical problem for that. You are not going in the army that you need to worry about it. Um, how is your experience while comparing that in Delhi? It is uh, Delhi has its own charm for me. Delhi is my birth city, but um, it is very nice here as well. There is no comparison. Okay, Weber, I will do that. So, guys, all right, I will save this video and you can have all the questions answered there. And, uh, oh, yes, Weber, French language helps for sure. So, you guys, you can work on your French skills. Dual language will help you so much you can't even imagine. All right, so for me, it is time to say bye to all of you. I will save the live video for all the questions and queries and concerns that you've asked me today. And I hope it is useful. So now, next question and answer session, I think we'll do move on to something else maybe because all these questions of yours I've answered. And uh, yes, you guys can now uh, watch this live video and I hope it solves all your queries. So bye guys, take care and thank you.